The path of the righteous photographer is beset on all sides by the iniquities of camera gear and the tyranny of the sun. Blessed is he who, in the name of Instagram likes, shepherds the bangers to the less adventurous, for he is truly his follower's keeper, and far more than just an influencer. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious lightroom editing, those forces who attempt to poison and destroy my bangers. And you will know my name is the GOAT when I lay my bangers upon thee. Damn it. Out of focus. So the shoot today did not exactly go as planned. Beautiful as it might have been, I was looking for some light on the other side of this river here. And it just, you know, the sun, I guess it's just too late in the year. The sun didn't hit that side of the river. So I guess the shot's, uh, I guess the shot's bust. It is very early and it is very dark. And I'm going to go on a 1,000 foot elevation gain hike in the dark. What is wrong with me? Turns out in real life, there's no montage. You can't fast forward through packing your gear in. And there's no cinematic soundtrack, unless you add one. hard enough hiking up with one camera and one tripod when I gotta haul you around it's a whole other thing why is everything so much harder with gloves on This is either the stupidest or most brilliant thing that I've ever done. It's tangerine. So 6.44 in the morning, I woke up at four, drove to Smith Rock, hiked up Misery Ridge. That was hard. The shot that I wanna go for is, I wanna get the Smith River with Smith Rock three sisters all snowy and beautiful in the background and the sky is looking very promising so far so fingers crossed Woo. Much windier over here. Gonna lose my beanie. I might actually lose my beanie. Whew, I shouldn't have put my jacket away. I'm 
going kind of wide. Uh, I would have liked to have gone a little bit further out, but because it's so windy, I'm going to stay right here. This looks like a pretty decent composition, so I'm going to go ahead and get out my intervalometer. And we will, uh, we will go ahead and start shooting. You gotta find it kind of amusing that the shot looks so peaceful. But really, it's like, mm. but look at that. Holy shit. It's kind of crazy how you can spend like two hours getting to a place and then there's only like five seconds of light that you really, really want. But that, that was spectacular. My, like, my upper lip is numb. I feel like I'm talking differently. Wind. <laughs> And just like that, the sun goes behind the clouds and everything is flat again. The conditions are rarely perfect. The light, fleeting. Patience, solitude, and hunting for the right shot. So most of the time, there's no grand expedition, no extravagant globe trotting, no personal glory. So if you shouldn't get into it for the glamour, then why should you? Because your camera is a passport, a reason to seek out new experiences in nature and to search the unknown for beauty. Because miracles are happening all around us, but nobody's paying attention. They may only occur for a few moments, but those moments are worth celebrating and they are worth sharing. Because ultimately the goal of landscape photography isn't to show people beautiful places, but to inspire them to see for themselves and to deepen our connection with Mother Nature. Because if you look closely, you'll find that heaven isn't some faraway realm or fiction. It's the planet we call home right now. Hey Cody. Yeah, Cody. Why don't we go hike up to the top of Smith Rock when there's no light outside and it's below freezing and you're all alone. Yeah, that sounds great. What do we got to lose? <laughs> 